Hi, it's Robbie. I'm in Amsterdam, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with New York's overseas absentee ballot, which is a bit of an exercise in origami. This is the ballot. This is the security envelope, and this is your ballot return envelope. You'll also need scotch tape and a pen. First, vote your ballot. Fold it in half and fold it in half again. Now you need to put your ballot into your security envelope. There's clearly marked four fold lines on the security envelope page. Fold line one, you need to be as accurate as possible because this is a very tight fit. Fold line two, Fold line three. Now put your ballot inside the envelope. And fold line four to seal it in. Now you can use tape to seal as they say. On the security envelope, you need to date it and sign it. All the rest you don't need unless you have an assistant helping you fill out the ballot. Now's the tricky part. The ballot return envelope. Same story, four fold lines. Fold line one, Fold line two, and now here's the trick that it doesn't tell you in the instructions. Place the security envelope inside now. Don't wait until the envelope is folded. Now you can use the edge of the security envelope to make a very tight seal on fold line three. Don't worry about folding precisely on line three, make sure the sides, the edges of the page match up with each other. Fold line four. And use tape to seal. Let's get a nice H tape on each end so nothing sticking up. And that is your New York origami envelope. You need to put your return address, your local foreign return address on the envelope. And you have an envelope marked US postage paid. If your embassy or consulate is accepting ballot return, you can drop it off there. Otherwise you need to use your local post by international email and add international postage 